Hi, hi, greetings, greetings, and more grace to everyone. Listen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Janae Evans, back again with yet another topic of discussion. But listen, before we discuss anything, let's go ahead and handle a little business real quick, shall we? Listen, if you would head on over to that like button and go ahead on and smash it, yeah, Thank you so much. Now let's take you on over there to that subscribe button and go ahead on and click that. That's it. Click it. And while you're right round up and through that, go ahead on and click that notification button so you can be alerted as to when we upload new material. So listen, your girl is not going to be before you long today. I got just a little something that was on my heart. I want to share uh, with, with the people of God today. And listen, I want to encourage you today, sis. I want to encourage you today, sir, with as much as lies within you. Honey, protect your peace. That's what I said. Protect your P-E-A-C-E. -E. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. The reason why it's so important that you protect your peace Listen, that you protect your peace is because, honey, it's everything around you that's trying to war against your peace. Everything around you. I'm talking about in your home, on your job, when you go to the grocery store, when you're at the red light. Honey, it's everything around you that's trying to attack your peace. But you got to put forth an effort. Can I talk to you today? You got to make sure you put forth an effort to protect your peace. Because let me tell you something. If the enemy can disturb your peace, he can disturb your joy. If he can disturb your joy, he can disturb your rest. If he can disturb your rest, he can kind of start shambling up your life. And once your life starts becoming in sh uh, getting in shambles, honey, then everything else starts domino affecting. We got time. Start here. Protect your peace. Well, you said, Jeanette, how can I protect my peace? Let me tell you something. The Bible tells us that the peace of God, listen to me, will rule our hearts. Huh? Let the peace of God rule your heart. What, what you mean? What you mean, let the peace of God rule? Because, see, God is a God of peace. That's one of his characteristics. Jehovah Shalom, you don't just say it because the people tell you to say it in praise and worship service. Try to get yourself together. Baby, he a whole God of peace. Huh? The God of peace, let him rule your heart. Stop trying, stop trying to do everything yourself and let God be God in your life. Huh? So, so when you, when, when, when God's showing you some things, listen to me, cause it's, it's all going to go back to relationship too. You know, that's, I, I, I can't stress that enough. It's going to go back to relationship. And if you don't have a relationship with God, I highly recommend that you try him. He's awesome. Listen, but getting back to the topic. It's going to go back to relationship because when there are things in your life, listen, I'm just, just, just talking to you today. It, it, when there are things in your life that's trying to disrupt and, 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 and disturb your peace. Listen, because of your relationship with God, he going to let you know, listen, that's not me. Huh? Then, and, and, and if you got a relationship with him, then he'll be alerted you to this thing that's coming to cause a disruption in your life. That way you can go ahead and get an advantage on it. Now listen, the Bible tells us, it, 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 unless Satan get the advantage of us, huh? We don't need to be ignorant to his devices, to his devices, to his tricks, to his connery, to, 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 to all of his shambles and his foolishness. Don't let them get the advantage. Come because we don't need to be ignorant. Protect your peace. Listen, let me tell you something. It's uh, like I said earlier, it's so many things around you that's trying to steal your peace. Huh? That's trying to keep you, you know, from, from seeing what God is doing for you. This, that's trying to distract you from how, what God has taken you to that's tr is trying to distract you from from the from the from the vision God gave you from the goals God gave you because it's over here telling you one thing some else over here telling you another thing and it's all uh, you know trying to get you off focus it's all trying to get you off focus but since sir I 
I urge you with everything in you, protect your peace. Listen, let me tell you something. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16 say, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. Listen, so where is peace found at? It's found with the owner of peace. That's what Lord mean, honey. Lord mean owner, huh? So it says the Lord of peace himself. That was 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and 16. The Lord of peace himself give you peace. He said by all means, whatever it takes for him to get you your peace into your life, he going to make that happen because he the owner, huh? Listen, the Bible say he'll keep us in perfect peace, huh? Whose mind is stayed on him. Listen, because we trust in the owner of peace. Huh? He ain't Jehovah Shalom for nothing, sis. He ain't Jehovah Shalom for nothing, sir. He is the owner of peace. So if you need something, then you got to go to the person. Oh, let me tell you something. If, if, if you need something that you don't have. If you know somebody that possess it, then you got to go get it. Go to the owner. Go to the manufacturer. Huh? And the owner of peace is the Lord himself. Huh? It's, it's, again, it's so many things around us in our life, sis. It's so many things around us in our life, sir, that's, again, battling for access to our peace. And peace is a state of mind. Don't can I can I tell that to the people in the back, please? Peace is a state of mind. Huh? Peace is a condition of your heart. Huh? And if the enemy can can can, can come up here with all of that foolishness down. Cause this this where the disruption start right here. Huh? It enters into your eye gaze, and once your eyes see it, then it can start, you know, coming here. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so many factors that can contribute to the disruption of your peace. Listen, if you sit at home all day, listen to me, watching the YouTube and watching the other shows and looking at how people, you know, got all these things that they that they own and that they do and all these things that, that, that they got going on in their life and then you sit back all day, you know, just looking and smiling, but inside you wishing... Oh, I had this. Oh, I wish I could do that. Sis, what do you think the enemy's tactic is at that moment to disrupt your peace? And so now when you get from in front of that TV and you sit, you sit down to yourself, the enemy is sitting there ministering to you because you opened the door to let him tell you, you, you should, you could have had that. You, why you don't have that? Uh, apparently your God must don't like you that, that much. Apparently you you it, it's some it's you 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 a failure in life. Yeah, he'll come at you like that. If you sitting up there scrolling on the book face and and scrolling through the Instagram all day and looking at all the lies, cause some of it be lies, baby. Looking at all the lies of, of the people with their big fancy flashy, uh um. All of the grand and grander, you know, uh, that they have, that they present, you know, because we ain't actually there to see it. If you scroll through there all day and you see the lies, honey, that stuff can start ministering to you. And that go the enemy giving you, we giving him access to come and disrupt our peace. Huh? Listen, when, when, when we, when we have a relationship with God. Sis, let me tell you something because your relationship with God, sir, it's going to matter in this time and in this season. Y'all, if you look at what's going on in the world around you, honey, they say they 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 still ain't claiming we in a recession. But baby, if you look at the numbers, if you look at the definition, if you look at the factors, that's going on in our world, honey. They all say recession. But them that make decisions ain't going to declare because see, they don't want to cause no panic and no fear. But those of us who actually uh, are, who are alert and we, we, you look and you paying attention because, see, don't be fooled by this stuff now. But if you paying attention, sis, if you paying attention, sir, honey, recession is that for Huh? And if you look around in, 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 in the world and you see the inflation going on, you see these prices rising. 
and you see this stuff uh, uh, disappearing off the grocery store shelves, you think they finna just come and tell you, cut out, honey, honey, we got shortages going on, so, so everybody can go and, and start buying up all the tissue that you around here using fig leaves. With everything that's in you, protect your peace. Because, see, the world is not going to stop going. Huh? The world is stop, it's not going to stop moving. The world is not going to stop changing. But you, listen to me. Can I encourage you today? Because you know your God. Huh? Because you are confident in your God. And you are confident in who he made you to be. I'm encouraging you not to sit up and open doors so the enemy can come in to disrupt your peace. Listen. The Bible tells us over in 1 Peter 5 and 7 to cast all our care on him because he cared for us. Huh? Of course you got things you're going through in your life. Of course it's issues and situations and circumstances, you know, going on in, the, in your life. But can I encourage you today? It, even the fact that you are here, even if you don't have a relationship with God, the fact that you are here, something drew you. You know, to even listen to this message. And I want to just, you know, just make the suggestion that it was the Spirit of God that drew you here. You know, just to encourage you to protect your peace. Because there are things that's fighting against your sanity. Come on now. You know when you sit there and watch this stuff. You know when you sit there and see all of, all of this stuff. Even, honey, even the holidays. Just the holidays, period, can invoke, you know, all types of emotions and, you know, all types of feelings. You know, even so for, for some of us who have even experienced loss, you know, and the holidays kind of, you know, it bring in a whole different type of spirit, you know, with it. All in an attempt to, to disrupt your peace. Huh? But listen, I want to encourage you today. Listen, I want to encourage you today that, 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 that the God of peace himself. Listen, I'm trying to find my other scripture for you. But, but you know, I told you over in Isaiah chapter uh, 26, verse 3. He said, and thou will keep him in perfect peace. I just want to encourage you today. Huh? Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Listen, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. This is Isaiah talking. Isaiah say, and he tell, he, he speak, he say, ain't thou, who is thou? God. Huh? We read over in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, chapter 3, he say, and the, the Lord of peace. Huh? The owner of peace. That's who's going to keep you in perfect peace. Huh? If you keep your mind stayed on him, stay, keep your mind focused on the owner of peace. Huh? And he said he's going to give it to you by any means necessary. Whatever God got to come and shut down to make your peace remain, he'll do it. Whatever he got to come cast down, tear up. He going to do it because you belong to him, huh? Because you are his, huh? Because all things work together for good to them who love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. You are the called, sis. You are the called, sir. So listen, got to get out of here. But I want to encourage you today. And throughout this entire holiday season, I'm not going to leave you hanging. But I'm going to come back. We're going to come back and we're going to get through this holiday season together. Do you hear me? Protect your peace at all costs. How are you, you going to protect your peace? You're going to lean on You're gonna lean on the owner of peace. Ah, That was 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Sis, if you got to read it every day, I, I highly recommend it. Because whatever it is trying to attack your peace, we now recognize that it's something there. But now that we know where we can go, huh, to the manufacturer and the owner of peace, we shall not be moved. So listen, thank you so much for sitting with me today. And listen, until we meet again, I wish you more love. I wish you more light. I wish you more grace and more peace, honey. Listen, don't you let nobody take your peace here. <laughs> Bye.